Hi, I'm Babblefish5. It's a nice fall day in Texas, and I've decided that I'm going to do an overnight and hike a part of Section 3 of the Lone Star Hiking Trail. The Lone Star Hiking Trail is in the Sam Houston National Forest, and it's about an hour north of Houston. Including all the loops, it's got 128 miles of trail. On the trail, you'll see plenty of wildlife. Raccoons, possums, armadillos, white-tailed deer, coyote, uh, the occasional mountain lion. Those are rare, were rare, but they're coming back into the area. And wild pigs. In fact, this part of Texas boasts the largest population of wild pigs in America. There's over two million of them in this area. I don't understand that. You'd figure they'd be up in the state capitol in Austin or in Washington, D.C., but no, they're here. I really hope I didn't say that out loud. Its western terminus is in Richards, Texas, and the trail's eastern terminus is in Cleveland, Texas. <laughs> I've hiked parts of the Appalachian Trail, I've hiked the John Muir Trail, and parts of the Continental Divide, but I'm really fond of the Lone Star Hiking Trail. It doesn't have any of the grand sweeping vistas of these national trails, but it is a hidden gem. It offers thick pine forests, parts of it will have oak forests. In the spring, the wildflowers explode with color, dogwoods bloom, and there's the smell of honeysuckle and jasmine in the air. In the winter months, you can see bald eagles and osprey that winter over in this area. There's plenty of fishing to be done here. So while the trail doesn't have any of the grand sweeping vistas, it does offer a quiet beauty and a solitude that I just really, really like. And it's home. That's why I like this trail, and that's why I like being on it as often as I can. This is my campsite for the night, my little home for the night. I've got uh, my Mac Cat and my War Bonnet. Uh, it's probably going to be in the uh, probably upper 40s tonight. So I have got my Crow's Nest three season, three quarter, uh, three quarter under quilt, um, and that's what I'll be sleeping in tonight. I was planning on staying at Lake Stubblefield Campground. Unfortunately, the Stubblefield Campground was overrun by a bunch of Boy Scouts and a Cub Scout pack. So, it's kind of full. So I decided to move on over to the overflow section of, uh, of Lake Stubblefield. First, I was a bit aggravated because there was a group there that had pulled in and started playing a lot of music. But they started playing Will and Jennings, Will and Nelson, and Johnny Cash. So I'm good! <laughs> I always carry a rescue whistle with me. And I like my items to be multi-purpose if possible. So, this is my rescue whistle. It's very pretty whistle, a very loud one at that, scares off all the bugaboos, and also keeps the roaming vermicious canids away, and scares off the space weasels. Huh, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's no such thing as roaming vermicious canids. <laughs> well, it's morning. I slept really well, very warm, I was very comfortable all night long. Uh, I think the only problem that I had was a group of pigs that came through, and I think one of them actually hit my, uh, my guy wires for my tarp. Uh, kind of whacked it pretty good, uh, but hey, the uh, uh, guy wires held up really, really well. And uh, coyotes going around all that long, but I slept comfortable. Uh, it was very warm, and I slept well. So um, it was a very good trip. I really did enjoy it. Uh, the Lone Star Hiking Trail is just an awesome trail. If you like this video, please give me a positive rating. Your comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the trail.